Between the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G and Samsung Galaxy A53, which is the better value for money? Both phones are 5G capable and somewhat close in price. If you're lucky, you can actually get the A53 for around 200,000 Naira from Jumia, but the actual retail price is 228k. The Camo 19 Pro 5G, on the other hand, costs 198,500 Naira, so we can say it's the more affordable of the two. But which should you go for? Going straight to the point, the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G gets more accessories in the box when compared to the A53, which comes with just a USB cable. So, not only are you spending more on the A53, but you'll also be spending extra to get a charger, a case, and earphones if you need them. So, advantage to the Camo 19 Pro 5G, which comes with all of these essential accessories. Not only does the Samsung Galaxy A53 come with less accessories, it also lacks a headphone jack, which you'll get on the Camo 19 Pro 5G. So keep that in mind if these are important to you. For their respective prices, you are getting more RAM and storage for the Camo 19 Pro 5G. That is 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. Compared to 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage on the Galaxy A53, thankfully both get SD card expansion. They both have dual SIM card support, but on the A53, you can either use one SIM card and an SD card or two SIM cards. You can't have both SIM cards with an SD card like you can on the Camo 19 Pro 5G, so keep that in mind if you have to use two SIM cards and also need to use an SD card. Moving forward to design and build quality, I can outrightly say the Camo 19 Pro 5G gets a more interesting looking design, but it's the bigger and also slightly heavier of these two. The Samsung Galaxy A53 is a slightly lighter phone with a more minimal design language. The Camo 19 Pro 5G has a flatter frame so it can stand without support. The Galaxy A53 takes it for durability as it gets Gorilla Glass 5 display and IP67 water and dust resistance. You don't want to get your Camo 19 Pro 5G in water, it may not survive. But Gorilla Glass 5 on the Galaxy A53 also means it's going to be the more expensive to fix if you damage the display and don't have Samsung Care Plus. For their display, based on preference, I can say the Galaxy A53 is the better one, having a gorgeous Super AMOLED display with up to 800 nits of peak brightness. The Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G on the other hand gets an IPS LCD display which is highly saturated and I'll see a really good one and close to AMOLED in quality, but if it's not AMOLED, it can never be AMOLED. But display quality aside, the Camo 19 Pro 5G has the slimmer bezels, slimmest on any phones at this price point, also having a larger display area at 6.8 inches. The Galaxy A53 gets a 6.5 inches display. They both get a 120Hz screen refresh rate, both come with Android 12 and their respective custom UIs. However, most would likely go with one UI on the Galaxy A53 seeing that it is cleaner, less bloatware, no ads when compared to iOS. It also gets 4 years of major OS upgrades, meaning you can get and use the A53 for up to 4 years and not bother about it being outdated. The Camo 19 Pro 5G will likely not get major OS upgrades, though I think it's in the Android 13 beta program, but that is all we know. Now down to performance, the Samsung Galaxy A53 is powered by Samsung's Exynos 1280 processor which looks really solid on benchmarks compared to the Dimensity 810 on the Camo 19 Pro 5G. Both are 5G capable. However, in real world performance, it might interest you to know that the Camo 19 Pro 5G is the more reliable. Take away the ads from iOS and you get fluid and stable performance from it. The Galaxy A53 is way behind on optimization and it lags noticeably. Recent software update has not made it significantly better. I can't help but blame it on the Exynos 1280 which still lacks optimization even when it comes to gaming. This might change in the future seeing that Samsung is dedicated to regular software updates but at the moment, the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G is the more stable device when it comes to performance and optimization including with games. But bear in mind that the Exynos 1280 should be a more powerful processor and has a higher GPU which should be on the same level as the Dimensity 920, just lacks optimization. Now down to the cameras which I believe most would like to see. I'm pretty sure expectations will tilt mostly towards the A53 because it is pretty much the phone with the best cameras around this price, but let's just see how far. Both comes with a 64 megapixel camera with OIS. The Galaxy A53 gets an ultra wide which the Camo 19 Pro 5G lacks. 5 megapixel macro and depth cameras compared to 2 megapixel macro and depth on the Camo 19 Pro 5G. On their selfie cameras, the A53 has a higher 32 megapixel camera while the Camo 19 Pro 5G gets 16 megapixels. On the rear cameras, both phones actually do great with image quality and I'll say while I prefer the processing on the A53, the Camo 19 Pro 5G comes a bit close, especially with HDR and saturation. They both do great with night mode photography but the A53 takes preference here. 
On the selfie camera, the Samsung Galaxy A53 also does much better on skin tones in my opinion, but let me know which you prefer. Now down to video, the A53 massively takes the edge here as it's able to shoot 4K videos from both selfie and rear cameras, while the Camo 19 Pro 5G can only do a maximum of 2K recording. Both have wires and do a good job at it, but let me know which has the better stabilization. Okay, hello guys, so this is the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G in comparison with the Samsung Galaxy A53, both 5G and I'm comparing their selfie cameras, of which the a53 has a 32 megapixel selfie camera which is currently shooting in 4k 30 fps and then the 19 pro 5g has a 16 megapixel currently shooting in 2k 30 fps so um let me know what you think about your camera quality in terms of clarity sharpness and then color accuracy what i'm wearing though is supposed to be a kind of a shade of orange from my viewfinder it looks like pink on the 19 pro 5g but you tell me what you think also about the microphone quality but both look sharp interesting so for price performance and stability i'll say the techno camo 19 pro 5g wins on design that is down to personal preference build quality i'll go with the a53 thanks to water resistance and a tougher gorilla glass 5 protected display cameras and software also go to the a53 which between these two would you say is the better choice and better value for money? Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully this video makes it easier to choose between the Camo 19 Pro 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A53. Do give this video a like if it was helpful and also consider subscribing. Peace.